couple common tree fruit diseases we're seeing this spring. First one you're seeing here is peach leaf curl. If you have an unsprayed peach tree or been around an unsprayed peach tree this spring or in the past few springs, you've likely seen this. This red blistering is the main characteristic. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do for treatment this time of year. This is something that really needs to be sprayed for in the fall. So just keep that in mind. If you do have peach trees that you're seeing this curling on, make a note to spray in the fall time. A couple of things you can do to help the tree out. You can thin a little more aggressively than you normally would. That'll put less stress on the tree. And then if this year's like many others, if we have a little short period of drought, make sure to water that tree because while it's producing the fruit, the water demands are very high and it can't photosynthesize well in this area that's red and puffed up. And so it's harder to draw water up through the plant. And so it needs all the help it can get. And then this here is fire blight. This occurs primarily on peaches and apple trees. And the best way to identify it is that you see how it's curled over. We call that a shepherd's crook. You also see how it looks burnt and that's why it's called fire blight. So the main treatment for that this time of year, hopefully you got to it earlier, but can still be pruned out. The main thing is to make sure the cut is as far away from the blight as possible. Eight to 10 inches, I think is advisable. When you do prune, make sure to sanitize your pruners between cuts. Even if you don't have fire blight, this is good practice because that's a good way to spread it. Bleach solution or 70% alcohol are good options for sanitizing your pruners. There is a spray. It's primarily used for commercial orchards, but streptomycin, which is antibiotic, can be used to treat this in early spring before the infection happens. But after it happens, you're going to need to prune that out if possible. One last thing I'll mention, we have a home fruit spray schedule for homeowners. It'll take you through all this, and if you have other fruit trees, it'll tell you how to care for them throughout the season.